Now you're going to be solving the bottom edges. So I found a way where you can, which is a variant of the H perm, to get this piece to go right here. So this is white, red. You're going to be doing essentially R2, M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2, and then another R2. And that will, because these two pieces would be swapped. Although you could simplify it, so this goes right there, to be R W U R two U two R two U R W and that will do the exact same thing but it's just more efficient. So let's try that one more time. R W U R two U two M two U R W two. Now the last one, just the setup way, just for fun. So we now have this, these two are going to switch, these two are going to switch. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. Or, sorry, M2, R2, L2. So now, you've finished your placement of the edges on the D face, and now you're ready to, the, to do a PLL on the top. So the PLL is going to be just a regular U perm. Although, of course, your R U prime R won't work here for quite obvious reasons if you've been watching the whole video. So you're going to need a new one, which is as follows. R2 U R2 U R2 U prime. And now you just go R2 U R2 U prime over and over until it solves like this. Then you do a U because you need you still need to flip these pieces R2 U2 R2 and that will solve that three cycle to solve the opposite three cycle all you need to do is the inverse so R2 U2 R2 U prime R2 U until it comes up with a bar then since this is correct already you go U prime R2 and that will solve your cube. If you encounter an H perm or a Z perm, either use the H perm, which is M2 U, M2 U2, M2 U, M2 to solve it, or use the, or you can three cycle it out. If you encounter the Z perm, you'll have to three cycle it out. It will consist of one clockwise and one counterclockwise after a cube rotation. So, that's the normal PLL. If you encounter a PLL that isn't on a normal cube, basically the 3x3, three three, you're going to have to do a cube rotation, do the parity algorithm that you learned in edge pairing, U2, R, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, R, U2, R2, then do L2, U2, L2, U2, L2. And then you'll either have a solved cube or a regular PLL, such as the H, Z, or any of the three cycles. So that's how to solve the 3x3x4 three by three by fully functional. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial.